You're listening to Daily Mana Devotionals. Thanks for stopping by. Great to have you here. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Make sure you subscribe with the notification bell turned on so you get a new post notification each and every time we post a new short daily devotion. That's what we do here. Little devotions under five minutes long to start your day off right each and every single day. You can also go hit the thumbs up. You can comment. You can shoot me an email at dailymanamedia at gmail.com. The title of today's devotion is Pride on Your Side. Scripture, humble yourself before the Lord and he will exalt you. James 4, verse 10. A missionary to a certain region in Africa, a man who had been greatly used by God as an instrument of revival, recalled that when we would mention, even as a passing reference, the name of another Christian to any of the national believers, they would often ask, is he a broken Christian? Not is he committed or knowledge un, or knowledgeable or hardworking? Is he broken? How can you tell if you're a broken Christian? One way is to consider the difference between a broken person and a proud person. Proud people desire to be known as a success. Broken people are motivated to be faithful and to make others successful. Proud people are elated by praise and deflated by criticism. Broken people know that any praise of their accomplishments belongs to the Lord and that criticism can help them become more like Christ. Proud people keep others at arm's length. Broken people are willing to take the risk of getting close to others. Proud people are concerned about the consequences and problems caused by their sin. Broken people are more concerned about how their sin has grieved and dishonored a holy God. Proud people feel worthy of respect, but broken people feel a desperate need for God's mercy. If moments like these reveal the presence of pride in your heart, don't despair. God has been merciful to show you your need. The first step of brokenness and humility is to get honest about these things, to acknowledge the true condition of your heart. Don't try to cover up, justify, rationalize, compare yourself with others, or pretend you're better off than you really are. The riches and blessings of God's grace belong to those who recognize their spiritual poverty. If someone were to ask your friends or family members of you, is she or he a broken Christian, what would the response be? This devotion comes out of The Quiet Place, a devotion by Nancy DeMoss Walgmuth. Thanks for listening as always, and make sure you take inventory of your own heart in regards to this devotion and if you're a broken Christian or not. I definitely wouldn't say that I'm uh, a broken Christian um, 100% because I'm always under construction. need to definitely do better at a number of things and improve on these things. And uh, So, yeah, always under construction. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. And as always, God bless. I'll see you tomorrow morning.